Magic Treehouse, Book Number Two, The Night at Dawn by Mary Pope Osborne, Chapter Two. Chapter Two, Leaving Again. No one's here, Annie shouted down. Jack thought about going home. Then he thought about all the books in the treehouse. He started up the ladder. When he was nearly to the treehouse, he saw the light in the distant sky. Dawn was starting to break. He crawled through a hole in the floor and took off his backpack. It was dark inside the treehouse. Annie was shining her flashlight on books scattered about. They're still here, she said. She stopped the flight on a dinosaur book. It was a book that had taken them to the time of the dinosaurs. Remember the Tyrannosaurus? asked Annie. Jack shuddered. Of course he remembered. How could anyone forget seeing a real live Tyrannosaurus Rex? The light fell on a book about Pennsylvania. A red silk bookmark stuck out of it. Remember the picture of Frog Creek? said Annie. Of course, said Jack. That was the picture that had brought them home. There is my favorite, said Annie. A light was shining on a book about knights and castles. There was a blue leather bookmark in it. Annie turned to the page with the bookmark. There was a picture of a knight on a black horse. He was riding towards a castle. Annie, close that book, said Jack. I know what you're thinking. Annie pointed at the knight. Don't, Annie. We wish we could see this guy for real, said Annie. No, we don't shouted Jack. They heard a strange sound. Nay! It sounded like a horse neigh. They both went to the window. Annie shined the flashlight down on the ground. Oh no, whispered Jack. A knight, said Annie. A knight in shining armor, riding a black horse through the Frog Creek woods. Then the wind began to moan. The leaves began to tremble. It was happening again. We're leaving, cried Annie. Get down. The wind moaned louder. The leaves shook harder and the treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes. He shivered. The air was damp and cool. The sound of a hoarse whining came from below. Nay! I think we're here, whispered Annie. She was still holding the castle book. Jack peeked out the window. A huge castle loomed out of the fog. He looked around. The treehouse was in a different oak tree. And down below, the knight on the black horse was riding by. We can't stay here, said Jack. We have to go home and make a plan first. He picked up the book about Pennsylvania. He opened it to the page with a red silk bookmark. He pointed to the photograph of the Frog Creek Woods. I wish, no, said Annie. She yanked the book away from him. Let's stay, I want to visit the castle. You're nuts. We have to examine the situation, said Jack, from home. Let's examine it here, said Annie. Come on, he held out his hand, give it. Annie gave Jack the book. Okay, you can, you can go home. I'm staying, she said. She clipped the flashlight to her belt. Wait, said Jack. I'm going to take a peek, a teeny peek, she said, and she scooted down the ladder. Jack groaned, ah, oh. okay, she had won. He couldn't leave without her. Besides, he sort of wanted to take a peek himself. He put down the book about Pennsylvania. He dropped the castle book into his pack. He stepped onto the ladder and headed down into the cool, misty air.